very unorganized, but that doesn't matter for me. But hopefully it doesn't matter for you. But a quick tip is don't always, if you're using, like working with a reactive dog or a reactive dog client, and you know they don't do very much training and they only do it with the reactive dogs, if you only use the attention noise when they're looking near a react, they're reacting to another dog, you can build the attention noise to be punishing. So you make your noise and the dog goes, where's the other dog? You can get that response to it. So you can you can actually poison what they call it in America, poison the cue if you say it in the presence of the creepy things. So be careful about that. It can happen very quickly, even if you're not thinking. Because if you're on a walk and you never need to use it, they see another dog make the kissy noise and they're like, oh, there must be a dog around. A lot of people, if they if they if they have a reactive dog and they say, oh hello. Then the dog barks, even though there's no one there. So you can poison things quickly. Um, third thing, I will show you. Who can I use? Is there a dog that doesn't know, like a, an attention noise? Or, 